Sometimes you have to walk. And walk he did. President Donald Trump walked away from a nuclear deal with North Korea's Kim Jong-un, abruptly ending talks meant to disarm a global nuclear threat. Trump blamed the breakdown on North Korea's demands to ease off punishing U.S. sanctions without committing to abandon the nuclear arsenal the nation has spent decades developing. They were willing to denuke a large portion of the areas that we wanted, but we couldn't give up all of the sanctions for that. We had to walk away from that. The two leaders started the day hopeful a deal could be done, with Kim saying he was ready to denuclearize the North. If I'm not willing to do that, I won't be here right now, said Kim. That's a good answer. Wow, that might be the best answer you've ever heard. But it was a disheartening end to their second summit in eight months that saw Trump arrive in Vietnam's capital, confident he would bring home some good news. U.S. officials say they never expected a breakthrough. We've said since the beginning uh, that this would take time. Our teams have gotten to know each other better. We know what the limits are. We know where some of the challenges are. Uh, and I think as we continue to work on this in the days and weeks ahead, we can make progress so that um, we can ultimately achieve what it is uh, that the world wants. Trump tried to sell denuclearization to Kim by elevating the North Korean leader to equal footing with the sitting U.S. president and reiterating the isolated country could be an economic powerhouse if it got rid of its weapons. I think it was naive for the administration and the Trump administration to think that the North Koreans were going to denuclearize. They're not going to do that. They have 54 nuclear weapons. That's their source of survival for the future and also Kim Jong-un's uh, standing as a leader. Mere hours after Trump said he was satisfied with the pace of negotiations. Speed is not important. What's important is that we do the right thing. Their planned working lunch was canceled and a signing ceremony scrapped. Even after the summit ended, Trump praised his relationship with Kim, going as far as to defend Kim over his own intelligence agencies in the case of an American college student who died in 2017 after being held in a North Korean prison and returned to the United States in a coma. I don't believe that he would have allowed that to happen. It just wasn't to his advantage to allow that to happen. Those prisons are rough. They're rough places and bad things happened.